Water can be found in three forms, solid, liquid, and gaseous. You can't shave a liquid, and we never give our customers gas. So let's talk about freezing ice. Not all ice is created equal. There are basically two types of block ice, compressed and solid block. Compressed ice doesn't work well in a block ice shaver because it's made with little ice chips that are compressed together and then refrozen into blocks. Compressed ice tends to break apart while shaving and it will dull your blade more quickly and make crunchy snow. Solid block ice is the best for making shave ice. Essentially, it's made by filling a mold with water and letting it freeze into one solid piece of ice. Or you can cut a block of ice from your neighboring frozen tundra if you have one of those. Solid block ice is available in a variety of sizes and it will make the best snow. If you don't wanna buy ice from a commercial ice company or you don't have a commercial ice manufacturer that makes block ice near you, you can easily freeze your own. To start, make sure the ice pail has been cleaned. Fill the ice pail almost to the top with water. A good rule of thumb is an inch from the top. You can use the two lines on the ice pail as a guide. You don't wanna fill it all the way to the top because when the water freezes and expands, the block may be too big to fit into your machine. Put your lid on and take your ice pail and put it in the level surface in your freezer. Here are a few tips and tricks to freezing your own ice. First, make sure that you have enough freezer space to keep up with your demand. Freezing ice in a conventional freezer can take three to five days. So you wanna have at least three to five times the number of blocks you will use each day. For example, if you usually go through 10 blocks of ice in a day, you need enough freezer space for 30 to 50 blocks. As you use the ice each day, you should clean and refill the used ice pails and put them back in the freezer. If you have enough freezer space, you should be able to keep up with the demand and not run out of ice. The second tip is don't try to freeze your ice too quickly. If your freezer's set too cold, it may cause your ice to crack like this block did. We recommend that you adjust your freezer so that the temperature sits around five to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. The third tip is don't overfill your ice pails. If you fill the ice pail too full, when it freezes, it will expand to the point where it's too big to fit into your machine. If this happens, you can use an ice chipper to cut it down to size, but it will slow you down a little when you're changing blocks. Ice shaves best if it's between 25 and 30 degrees Fahrenheit. You should allow the ice to warm up before shaving it. This process is called tempering. The amount of time needed to temper will depend on the actual temperature of the ice and the room that it's in. Room temperature will usually take about 20 minutes. Outside in the sunlight may only take 10. The important thing is you wanna see that the ice has started to melt a little. You should see a sweat or shine on the outside of the block. If you shave ice that's too cold, it will produce dry, powdery snow that's difficult to pack and doesn't absorb the flavor right. It will also dull your blade very quickly. You can see this snow is too cold because rather than pack, it wants to fall apart in my hand. Dry snow is great for skiing, but not great for shaving. Water only has three states. Is it the states, phases, three states? states. Yeah, we, we should. The states of matter? Yeah, the states. Okay. What about plasma though, you know? 